Have you ever felt that Outlook is a mess? That you spend way too much time trying to find emails? Or that you believe that you have too many folders all around your Outlook and sometimes you want to find one email that you know is there but you simply can't find it because you don't remember in which folder it went? or through each rule it was moved out. So today I will teach you a very simple way to manage your emails as a whole and use one very key feature in Outlook to expedite your capability to find emails faster and more accurate. Let's go to it. Hello everyone, my name is Diogo Roldão. I am a senior project manager working in the IT and telecom field. And today I'm coming here to help you save the most important asset you have, your time. A little background about myself. I work for a big IT and telecom corporation present in more than 100 countries with several projects and uh, operations. I am based in the United States working for one of the biggest carriers that exist here and in this program we are working now. I'm the man responsible to communicate the program upgrades and do the agreements with customer on the project level. So in order for me to have time to do this work because this is a very speaking and agreements and meeting type of job, I cannot spend much time in tools. I cannot spend time reading emails. I cannot spend much time doing presentations and these stuff. Although I am required to do this type of job, I must do it quickly and as quickly as good. So to deliver good products, to write down good emails and to read out all my emails quickly because I have to spend most of my time communicating. So this is what this video is about, to help you guys in one of these components, Outlook, in how to organize and search your emails quicker. Let's go for it. Old school folks like you and me, we are used to believe that a folder structure is something good. If you look to the operational system, Unix, Windows, Mac OS, they divide the files in structure. In this structure are folders. The folders that you have for your pictures, the folder you have for your videos, the folder you have for your work documents. So we all divide things in folders, even your paperwork in your drawer right there next to you, you have one, one, I forgot the word, <laughs> folder that uh, have your paperwork there, your papers inside. So folder is everywhere. So why don't believe that the folder structure in Outlook isn't something good, right? No, it's not. In Outlook, it's a more granular type of work because we work in corporate companies we receive a lot of emails every day. Some folks receive between 100 to 200, other folks receive even more than 200 emails a day. So how can you read 200 emails a day and do your work? You are gonna spend half of your day just reading emails, right? So you must be efficient in organizing your emails. So if you believe that uh, creating several folders in your Outlook and then simply remembering just by going to those categories and uh, believing that uh, the email you want is in there, that will require a considerable effort from you to be always sharply moving email by email. And there will be emails that falls under more than one category. So how do you handle that? Your work just becomes more complex. As more folders you have, more complex becomes your work. And now you think, okay, Duke, so if folders are something bad, what is the best way to handle emails? The best way to handle emails is to not have any folder at all except your very inbox. And then you think, but come on, everything will be into one single folder, it will be a mess, right? No, and that feature is usually underused by most of the professionals using Outlook. Outlook is a lot more than receiving one email, sending one email and moving mail to folders. And I will create for you guys a series of videos to help you guys know what is the essential knowledge you must have in order to manage your Outlook efficiently. Let's go to it. I will teach you guys five of the most important keywords that will solve easily 80% of all your search on Outlook. So the very first one, as soon as you click on this search field, 
up here, right in the middle, you see that a new tab appears, a new ribbon appears, and uh, you now have search buttons, search options. The very first one, and one of the most common one, is front, like uh, who sent you the email. So from whom you need to find the email from. So in my sample here, I'm gonna search for this person called uh, Fabiano. Just for records, I'm using these very, very, very old emails from 2010. We are in 2020. From an old company I worked for in an old program, long dead. All of these emails are long deprecated in my native language, not even in English, so it should be fine. So this person, Fabiano, by simply searching in this in my home box from 2010, I found 161 emails from him, but I remember that uh, the email I was looking from him, he sent me in July. So I'm gonna put this keyword, received, two dots, July 2010, because we are in 2010 emails. If you are looking for an email that you received this year, you don't need to inform 2010, because Outlook by default assume that you are searching for for current year if you don't inform any year. In addition to this, you can also uh, inform like this, 07, 30, 2010. And then he will search specifically on the date, July 3rd, 2010. So three ways for you to search on date. The most common one is just type the month because it's flexible. Then I narrow down the emails from Fabiano from 161 229 because I remember it was more or less in July when he sent me the email and he sent me with one attachment so I will click on this button here has attachments and now I narrow down from 161 to only five now with five emails my capability to go one by one and find exactly the one I need it's a lot easier than navigating on the original 1000 emails that were here or 161 emails that I had from Fabiano in 2010. And uh, in my sample, I was looking for this schedule here. This is a schedule word. And if I simply click twice, I will see the schedule here. This is what I was, I was looking for. So I gave you a sample of how to use the search to narrow down your inbox to exactly or very nearly close to what you want. See, several keywords came up here. Became a little IT, underground world, you know, IT development stuff. You must get used to this because this is what is gonna save you lots of time. In addition to that, another very useful search capability that helps you to read emails quickly, it's this all or unread. If you click on unread, you are only gonna show the emails that uh, you have not read yet, you have not passed your eyes over them. Same happens here. It is a search capability, see, it is read to dots no. And then it will bring me all the emails that I have not read yet. Here you may think, Diogo, you had more than 1000 in this inbox, it's showing you only 250, why? It's showing only 250 because Outlook by default limit the result into 250 in order to not uh, overload both the client and the server in a search that uh, may be too wide, too broad. If I, if I simply say is read equals to no, it would bring me 1021 items. But to bring this and all its contents, it's heavy. So instead of Outlook to bring all of this at once, and we are talking about several hundreds of megabytes, Outlook is only bringing 250. You can tweak this into the Windows registry, but I will not uh, teach this here. If you want, you may Google it, it is there. I have done already in other company, it works. And then you can specify if you want to bring, if you have like a powerful computer, if you are in a very strong network that can load more data at once, and your searches are always very wide, then you can do this little tweak on the Windows registry. Finally, now again, towards the reading mails capability to read emails faster, you can use this keyword CC, which means where you are in copy, two dots, and put your name there. In this way, you are bringing down all the emails that you were copied to. So they were not exactly sent to you, you are for your information. Because you stay here until the end, and uh, thank you for that, I'll give you two bonuses. One, 
to help you not be misled by people in Outlook when searching. And a second one, it's a trick in this transition phase between the several folder structures you have to the single inbox folder. As your brain is still getting used to read every single email and memorize those few keywords, you may still not find the email you want from the person you want. So I will teach you one little trick to help you in this path. So let's go to it. The first sample is about the color that Outlook use to search for something. By default, by standard, when you search, let's say this word here, uh, Lufthansa, Outlook highlights in yellow, see? And yellow, it's also the very default color when you are composing one email, you are typing your name here, hi there, how are you? The very first color to highlight by default in Outlook, it's also yellow, it's mixing. So I just searched the word Lufthansa, but because this whole sentence was highlighted in yellow, I barely could see that uh, Lufthansa was just found here. So I could have missed this email. I would have been misled to this one down here because the word is there alone without any highlighting. So to, to avoid this mislead, go to file, options, search, and here change to purple. In this way, if I search again, see, now it's very highlighted the word I was looking for. And uh, don't bother with purple. purple it's barely used, very, very, very rarely used by people. So when you are doing very complicated search and you are not finding the emails you want easily and you're gonna be navigating one after another until you find the email you want, you will know in your mind that you are looking for the color purple. And purple is not common at all. So this was the first bonus. The second bonus to help your brain in the process to migrate between folders to efficient search. By default, this reading pane it's uh, shown as date and in conversation. So once you click here in by date, choose from. Outlook is gonna sort by the name of uh, every single person who sent you an email from A to Z. Let's say that I'm looking for emails from a person called Fabiano. I just type F A B and uh, Outlook will quickly send me there to Fabiano, see? And here I will simply navigate to the email I want because in this way, I can see every single email, not in a group, not in a conversation. And I can, not easily, but easier, <laughs> while you are transitioning from complicated folders to easy search. All right? This was the video number one of a series of uh, videos I will share about Outlook and uh, not every single feature, only the useful ones, the relevant ones to make you a better PM, a better consultant, a better PMO, even a better program manager. If you believe this video helped you in any manner to make your work easier, hit the like button, you're gonna help me a lot. And if you believe the idea of this channel will make your life easier, will help you to be a better professional, will help you to save time, to go home early, hit subscribe, don't miss any of the tips. I'm also preparing courses to deep dive into domains like uh, Excel for professionals, Outlook for professionals, OneNote for professionals. OneNote in particular is a very powerful tool to organize a lot of your work and OneNote works hand-to-hand -to, -hand to Outlook. It's a very nice tool and barely used it by professionals. It's a shame on us. This type of courses and many others I'll be sharing. So for the ones who are subscribed to my channel, I will give the few of these courses for free. Stay tuned, stay safe. Let's dedicate our time to what really matter, to communicate to people, to our family. Let's go home early. See you on next video.